Hi guys, it's your girl Simply Ami and today I wanted to get a little bit personal so you guys can already tell by the thumbnail and the titles we're going to be talking about Yes, I know there's a bit of a clickbait in the video, but honestly, I feel like you really, really are going to enjoy this video. I'm not going to give you any special tricks or tips on how to get from pancake boobies to full on basketballs, okay? But I will give you a boost of confidence because honestly, your confidence will make a heap of difference. Once you're confident, you don't need to be watching videos on how to do this, how to get slim, how to be more beautiful. Listen, your beauty is within darling so don't let nobody tell you anything else and if you don't want to hear it from me I was inspired by Mr. London he did a video about how to get these together honey and just like a few seconds into his video things that he said I wish I could include it in a video but it was very very inspiring um, I might actually put a link to that video in the description box because honestly ladies when I watched that video I was trying to get a little bit of an exercise in and then I heard his little motivational speech and I was just like come on because that's a real man that's what we need we need real men to appreciate a real woman body don't be listening to those little boys yeah who want to be talking about fantasy women that they can't even get by the way no shade I'm gonna be doing a little bit of some mummy talk just things that you just not told about this is a safe place a safe platform where we could basically talk about everything and anything with no shame okay you don't have to you don't have to feel embarrassed okay there's no embarrassment when you come onto this channel let's take a seat okay so now that we are a little bit more comfortable i wish i did have a drink but i don't have one i just wanted to touch on a few things that you were just not told about when you get pregnant or body changes that happens to us females and if you are a mummy and you are a breastfeeding mummy then you might have actually if you are a mummy then you would definitely be able to relate to this before i had my child i never really had big boobs <laughs> I mean, they they were there, they were visible, but they were never really, you know, do you know what I mean? I was comfortable with them. I would look at myself in the mirror and sometimes I'm not going to lie, guy, I will pass through a mirror and I'll be like, damn, <laughs> damn, like, honestly, like, I'm being truthful with you guys and this is not me being big headed. I would be fully naked and I would look at myself in the mirror and I would be like, yeah, smash. <laughs> And then I got pregnant and obviously I pumped which I did a video about that I breastfed exclusively and I enjoyed it I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would I love the connection that I built with my child and it was great when I stopped breastfeeding guys let me tell you the boobies drop okay I'm gonna just tell you how it is sis they drop and if you have small boobs already say prepare yourself if you have small boobs already then yeah they're gone babe they're gone let me tell you what happened so on your boobs right okay you don't really see it now because it gets better and i'm gonna get to that so you want to you want to wait and stick around i'm gonna tell you it really does get better so what happened with your boobs is that i think and by the way this is just from personal experience i'm not a doctor i'm not a gynecologist i'm not a nurse okay i'm not this is just me but i understand a little bit of the anatomy so your skin loses elasticity because when your baby is breastfeeding when you're pumping you're constantly pulling and stretching your skin also i lost a lot of weight when i was pregnant because i basically stopped eating i lost weight i breastfed and i pumped so can you imagine what happens when you lose weight anyway your boobs get smaller and then what happens when you keep stretching it and pulling it you're gonna you're stretching and pulling the skin and it loses elasticity and that's what happens so my boobs were small right and then they got even flat sis they got more flat so basically when i would pull this it would literally be skin like now you can see a little bit of a it's got a little bit of a jiggle there's a little bit of a bounce but it was literally like skin i'm not even gonna lie and there was a moment where i looked at myself in the mirror and i was like 
I'm gonna need to get used to this you know I opened up about it I was like you know what I've got a lot, enough girlfriends to speak to about it and enough females around me who has had babies way before me and I opened up to them and that's what you need to do like you need to have conversations stop dealing with things on your own because you actually realize that what you're going through someone else has gone through already and they are dealing with it and they can give you good advice and they can go through it with you because it's a big thing and i think as females we need to talk about it but it would also be nice for men to understand things that women go through because these are the type of things that affect relationships it does come back over time like i mean they haven't gotten they've not gotten bigger okay they've just kind of gained back a little bit of fat and also i think the more you eat as well and the more you put back your weight the more it will get like that now a lot of women do experience that when you lift the skin says trust me best and believe when you will lift the skin you will see skin it will kind of feel it will kind of look like like you know when you you know when you your hand is in water for a really long time and you get that wrinkly kind of thing that's what it looks like or like when you put something in hot water and it kind of wrinkles up that's what it kind of looks like for some people it's really severe and for some people it's not that severe i'm not gonna lie i feel like sometimes people develop body dysmorphia they look at themselves and they see something completely different and it's like you might not be diagnosed with a condition but your mindset is within that frame that condition so you look at yourself and you're like oh I'm ugly oh my teeth is like this oh like this oh and you spend most of your time looking at yourself in disgust you're not those things that you think that you are it's very important to be able to look at yourself and know that you are beautiful okay I'm not gonna give you the affirmations for you you need to get to that place now hey i look at myself and i'm like you know what it is what it is okay i've got a baby and would i breastfeed again yes i would would i go through that again yes i would because listen this outward appearance baby is going to go it's gonna shrivel up okay and if you want to love me to love me from within my personality everything that i bring the flavor the fire like everything not just because of my body do you get what i mean for all my small titty girls listen love and embrace your little Maltesers and when you are born with something there is nothing you can do about it this is the way that I was created if I wasn't built to have big breasts hey sway I wasn't born to have big breasts now I'm not gonna lie okay I have had in my mind sometimes where I thought <laughs> Dr. Miami what are you saying do you know what I mean but that's for another topic for another day guys did you enjoy the video if you did make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe i would love for you to join my channel and i will speak to you guys in my next video bye